this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University. And today I'm going to teach you how to plant marigolds from deadheaded blooms. Now, deadheaded bloom looks like this it's actually a dried up flower from your marigold plants. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to prepare your garden surface. And you just need to loosen it up a little bit. Make sure that it has some nice organic matter in it, some compost in it. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up this flower, releasing these seeds. And that's what the seeds are going to look like. Now, there's a golden rule when it comes to seed planting. The smaller the seed, the less soil you need to have on top of it. And we're actually just going to add enough soil to hold the seed down so that the wind doesn't blow. So I'm just going to sprinkle the seeds on the top. And I'm going to take a thin layer of soil and sprinkle over the seeds. Now the next step of the process is you need to water in the seeds well. And this is something that you're going to have to repeat throughout until your seedlings germinate. In five to seven days, you see some little starts coming up through the soil. But don't forget to water and make sure that you check that soil moisture because one day of dry soil is all it takes to kill your seedlings. So until we meet in the garden again, this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University.